Uh, Dr. Schniff, which letter comes first again? The one that comes first in the Bible is the longest one, Romans. Romans was written to the Christians living in the capital of Rome. Wait, wasn't this written before Paul went to Rome? How were there Christians there before Paul went to take them the good news? Ah, good question. We're not exactly sure how the good news first came to Rome, but we think it probably had something to do with Pentecost. Right. Remember at Pentecost, there were Jews in Jerusalem from all over the Roman world. The Holy Spirit filled Jesus' followers, and they started preaching the good news in the languages of all these visitors. Many of them became followers of Jesus that day, and when they went back home, they took the good news with them. There's a good chance some of them were from Rome, and that's probably how the gospel got to Rome before Paul did. Oh, Roy, so what's in this big letter? Oh, lots of stuff. Romans is the most complete summary of what Christians believe in the whole Bible. The book of Romans is 16 chapters long. It's Paul's most detailed explanation of what's wrong with the world and what Jesus did to make it right. If you want to learn what Christians believe, you can't do much better than Paul's letter to the Romans.